I guess every person taking this tutorial at some time or another has been told what to eat. And often what we've been told to eat is because that thing, whether it's greens or whether it's liver or cod liver oil tablets, they contain things like minerals. And minerals are important for our health. What are they? They are very small quantity things. They are elements and they help our health. So, for example, if I was just to sort of shove a picture in front of you, which is a bunch of, uh, a bunch of minerals, we've got our zinc, our magnesium, our iron, our copper, we've got magnesium magnesium we've got potassium obviously these are these are all minerals and i just want to sort of link this point to another part an area of your study don't neglect the fact that these are literally elements from the periodic table here we have for example if i sort of find it on here it, here we have our iron for example here we have our sodium for example etc etc these are actual elements from the periodic table that we are consuming through our food and we're doing so because it is a healthy way to do so now I also want to introduce you to the reality, and once again, I've said this with a couple of things previously, there are two types of minerals. There are two types, okay? So two different groups of minerals, if you like. The first group of minerals is what we call macro minerals, macro minerals. And you're probably aware, or maybe you're not, that the word macro means larger or greater or chunkier. Well, I don't think chunkier would be a reasonable definition, but there you go. We've also got what we refer to as our trace elements. And of course, you get the sense that these are required in smaller quantities because they're trace. We need trace elements of those. So let's address our macro minerals first of all. They are required in larger quantities. Okay, so we need more of these things first of all, larger quantities. So our macro minerals, they're the sort of big daddy minerals. These are the ones that we make we need to make sure we're getting you know really sufficient quantity of this. So what are we talking about here? We are talking about calcium, more of which in a second. We are talking about phosphorus. We are talking about magnesium. I should have just used, uh, should have just used the um, symbols for this. We are talking sodium. All of these are essential for you to be consuming regularly to maintain a balanced, healthy diet and to maintain good health, okay? Now, if we compare that, I'll, I'll develop some examples of these in a second, but if we, if we compare that to trace elements, what we're saying here is these are required in very small quantities, okay? So they're not as important if we wanna put it into that context they're important, but we just don't need as much of them. So what are examples of these? Well, we're talking about iron, surprisingly actually, and more of which in a second. We're talking about copper. It seems, it's a strange idea to eat copper. It sounds weird, doesn't it? We're talking iodine and we are talking zinc. These are what we refer to as your trace elements. Now, what I wanna do here is I wanna use a couple of examples as to why these might be so crucial. So let's take our calcium and let's kind of draw ourselves out here and bring ourselves over here. Why is calcium important? Well, it's important because it helps us to develop healthy bones and teeth. So I'm assuming that you out there are probably a teenager, maybe you're between the age of 11 and 15. It's pretty likely that the growth plates in your legs, your arms, these bones around your body, they are probably doing some serious work right now. Therefore, the consumption of calcium in your diet, especially because you wanna go and sort of be able to move and be um, to be physical and to be able to move efficiently during your PE lessons, that calcium is gonna be really important for that. And of course, we get calcium, it, it, from lots of places actually, but one of the examples is we get it from dairy. We get it from things like milk, for example. So calcium is important for that reason. Now, if we look at one of our trace elements, iron would be an excellent example. Why would we need iron in our diet? We need iron in our diet because it is used for the production production of, I'm gonna put RBCs, red blood cells, the production of red blood cells. So this happens in the bone marrow and we literally make these little disc-shaped cells and they are filled with iron, um, it's actually an iron protein, but let's not get into that here. And that iron, we, that iron protein, we call it hemoglobin, is capable of carrying oxygen and other gases as well in the blood, around the blood, and it can deliver it to, for example, the muscles were contracting during, let's say, some high jumping during a pee lesson. So having iron in our diet, and we get it from leafy vegetables, leafy veg, 
We get it from greens, think spinach, think lettuce, think chard. These are important minerals so that we can perform the functions that we need to perform. Now, again, I don't want to turn this uh, tutorial into remember what phosphorus does, remember what magnesium does. That can come later in a more, if you've got more interest in the study. But the health aspect of this for now is critical. Now, what I want to finish this off with is how do we feel about supplements? Okay, how important are supplements? So should we be taking mineral tablets? The, the straight up answer to that is that if you've got a balanced healthy diet, there's no need to take supplements for uh, minerals. However, if you have some kind of deficiency, in other words, you've got a health condition, which means let's say you've got a, a, a lack of iron in your system, we'd call this anemia, of course, then taking iron supplementation may well be relevant for that period of time in your life. That's actually happened to me in my life. It plays, I tell you what, iron tablets can play havoc with your old trap door so it's something that <laughs> it's some it's something that obviously you want to do at the right time if there's a deficiency or a lack of something in your diet thank you